Hi everyone, Paul here. Welcome to the channel. This is another Unreal Engine video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to add 3D meshes to your widget. With widgets, you can only assign images as a texture or a material asset. For the 3D mesh to work, it needs to be a material. For this purpose, we're going to use the scene capture 2D component. So from documentation, the scene capture 2D component is used to capture a snapshot of the scene from a single plane and feed it to the render target. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the scene capture 2D component to capture a snapshot and render that as a texture and then you could create a material from the texture and use it in the UMG UI designer for the image. Let me show you a demo. So here, um, I have a first person shooter. When I hit play here, when I get the rifle here, I'm gonna be prompted with the widget as showing me a 3D image inside. So let's go. So here you can see the 3D image animated and rotating, and I have this uh, custom button. So when I hit okay here, uh, the widget uh, goes away. And then I could continue playing the game. Cool. So let's get into how to build this thing. So starting off with the first person template, go to your content drawer. Let's create a new folder here. Uh, let's call it UI. Under the UI, uh, right click and select user interface and select widget blueprint. I'm going to call this WB and then pick up and open up that so here first thing we want to add is the canvas then let's add an image drag it like so we'll arrange it later I'll add some text for the text I think I said uh, rifle acquired And then let's add a button. And then let me resize that button to 300 by 100. And let me put another text in there inside it. And we'll call it OK. Cool, uh, let's arrange this a little bit. So here, I'm gonna anchor it like so. Move it in the middle and grab the text. Resize that a bit, move it like so. And similar here, I'm gonna anchor this in the middle. I think I need to forgot to anchor that as well, cool. So here for the image, I'm um, going to size this by 600 by 300 and just position like that. Cool. So that's all we need for now. Um, go back to your first person map and open the open, uh, level blueprint. We're going to temporarily put the load the event, uh, the widget here. So select event, begin play and select uh, create widget component and here select that new widget we just created so wbp wb pickup and i'm just gonna add to viewport save compile and when i hit play i can see that widget on my screen cool so now uh, let's create the blueprint so under blueprints here I'm gonna right click and select a blueprint class and select actor and I'm gonna name this uh, blueprint BP underscore weapon like so open that up so here uh, we want to add the weapon so let me go under mesh here and we need this so you could add either a skeletal mesh or a static mesh but here 
the gun is a scalable mesh so add it like so and also add the component the scene capture to the component so right now it's positioned directly in front so i'm going to move it to around minus 70 like so and we also want a scene so let me select a scene and i'm going to put that sk underscore fp gun under the scene make it a child like so cool here on the scene capture 2d component if you scroll down to the texture target here if you click here you have options to create new assets so you have options for canvas render target and render target so render target works well in my case it's going to ask you where you want to save it so i'm going to store it on that uh, ui folder and just name it uh, texture render target and i'm going to call it weapon so like so and if you double click here you'll get a preview of what that looks like so here under the texture render to the size x and y adjust that to say 600 by 300 this is just to match what we have on the widget that we created so if i go back to the weapon here and if i click this that should um, somehow re-render re it on this thumbnail so i could click on that I might need to adjust this a little bit so I'm going to move my gun a little bit here minus 10 save click that again and you could double check the position so there you go so I'll probably move this a little bit higher as well cool so that should be it for that one now go back to your content drawer uh, go back to the UI here for the render target that we just created uh, we're gonna right click and select create material and from there I'm gonna open that new material click this texture render here and select the material domain instead of surface we want it to be user interface so if I just hover that quickly the material will be used for UMG or the slate UI so that's what we need um, hook up the RGB to the final color and that should start showing in there when I compile and let's go back to our widget here and from here under the brush section you could select for that um, new texture so that new texture that we created is called texture render let's search for it texture render the one that is a material if i do that you can see it's now showing in there but there's a black border we'll fix that later so compile let's go back here test that out you can see it's now showing but there's a black border in there and then um what do you call this we need to animate this afterwards so exit this um go back to the bp weapon Actually, to remove that black border, go back to the texture and change this and have it from blend mode, say, to uh, translucent. And from here, under the alpha, uh, type in 1 minus and drag that under opacity like so. Let's compile save uh, test it out if it's not transparent now it's transparent now we just need to rotate it so to rotate it it's actually a bit expensive and we might need a few tweaks here so to rotate it go to the event graph um, technically you want it to rotate but we didn't add this bp weapon on the level for it to rotate it needs to be in the level and then the event Tick would be able to capture snapshots of that image and push that to the render target so let me show you what I mean so if I go here and say add local rotation for the default uh, scene root 
oh no, just the scene. We just want to rotate the, this particular scene. Um, do, do it like so. And then for the delta seconds here, we're going to multiply it. So you multiply by 15. And I'm going to split this delta rotation. And we're just going to rotate it on the yaw. Cool. So if I compile this, when I save it, it's not animated and it screw up showed me this uh, additional border here, which I think is a bug. So if I go back and stop that, if I actually um, go back to the viewport here, click that again, and then on the texture widget here, it would show it's now black again. If I save, go back and play, you would see that that border, that transparent layer earlier, that border is now gone again. So I think that's a bug. But this is still not animating. So to animate this, you need the event tick to actually fire. So if I go back to my weapon blueprint here, we need the event tick to actually fire for that to work. So let me go to the first person map here and go under my blueprints and the the blueprint that we created, we need to drag it here on the, the level. So I'm going to drag it on the level and I'm going to position it outside the gameplay. Like so. Save. Now let's go back here and go on the event graph here. And now I can see that we could debug this. When I hit play, you would see that this is now firing. And if I show you how it looks like, you can see it's now rotating. But this time, there's this um, whole scene that the camera is taking. So we could remove that by doing the following. So under the begin play here, you're going to say um, add only add uh, components. Uh, show only components. So show only components. Not sure if I got that right. So this is uh, from the scene capture component. This is the target. The component that you want to only show is the gun. So you could drag and drop it like so. Let me clean that a little bit. We could get rid of this. Cool. Compile. Save. Let's try it again. Now this time it's animating. So that's what we want. Uh, looks pretty cool. So now let's hook up everything. Let's um, go to the map. We no longer need it here on the map. So I could copy this. Um, go back to my BP rifle um class here the the one that comes with the template and under destroy actor here I'm gonna paste and wire this up so when the actor is destroyed i also want to play sound duty for some effects just the camera shutter is fine and then what we want here is we want to actually um set the input mode so under input mode set it to set input mode ui only we need to grab the player controller hook it up like so and oh we also need to set the mouse cursor so set mouse cursor let me disconnect that so set the mouse cursor Set that to true and then set input mode. And let me re make some reroute nodes here. And I also want to flush input like so. So if I do a quick test now and I grab this rifle, now my mouse cursor is showing and I could click this button, but nothing's happening at the moment. So let me escape and go to your widget. We need to wire up that button. So this button, uh, click on the on click. And from here, we want to 
um, s and to actually get the player controller you want to set the mouse back and set mouse cursor you're going to set that to false and then we're going to set the input mode back to game and ui and we're going to hook up the player controller again there create some reroute nodes and then finally we're going to destroy remove from parent move from parent and that's going to escape that widget cool so let's try that again so here finally when i go here get the rifle i get that uh, 3d animation i click that button that widget goes away and i could continue playing again cool so that's the that's the quick how to uh, hope you learned something new thumbs up thumbs down if you have some comments hit the comment section below Cheers, bye for now.